What is up everybody, Retro Sneakers here, back at y'all with another mother freaking banger. In today's episode, I'm gonna be restoring the first pair of Jordans ever. The first pair to ever come out, you know, these Royal Ones. These have big history behind them, they're from 1985. And they also have big history with my channel. My channel, um, you know, back back in the day in 2014, I dropped this horrible, horrible restoration on a pair of Royals, you know, from 85. And everybody looked down on me and was, you know, shamed. So now I got another opportunity to get it right. So I want you guys to take a good peek at this and tell me what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you feel, you know? Let me know in the comments. And if you do, I'm gonna have a special prize for you. All right, so I'm coming, bro. All right, bet. So yeah, if you guys want to be able to win these Royal One Lows here for free, which um, I've had many, many extra pairs of these lying around. Actually, just recently, about a month ago, gave away a pair to a friend of mine. But uh, I'm going to be giving these to one of you guys. So all you have to do to win these is comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know whether you like it or not. Let me know what I did good. Let me know what I did bad. And in that same comment that you drop, put your Instagram handle, social media handle, you know, Twitter, whatever way you want me to get in touch with you or email, just put that in the same comment and also leave the city you're in because i'm most likely going to be delivering these to you in person so if you want to be on my next video comment down below let me know what you think and you're gonna be able to get a chance to win a free pair of royal one lows yeah i know a lot of y'all probably kind of hate on these you know but it's whatever though i gotta go they calling me All right, yeah, so to start off with this process, the first step I'll be doing is removing all of the factory finish from the uppers. And you're just gonna simply apply acetone onto the cotter round and rub away. All right, so quick little side note, this, this shot right here was actually filmed about a year ago. Um, and then the intro that you just saw was filmed, uh, you know, just recently, like two weeks ago. And in that shoot, we were in like in this sand dune and like we ended up getting really dirty and the shoes got really dirty. So you're gonna see the shoes dirtier later than they are in this shot. But to clean these up, what I'm going to be using is Rejuvenator Advanced Sneaker Solution. You can go ahead and check out Rejuvenator over at Rejuvenator.com and use my discount code RETRO713. All right, so here's the fun part, getting into cutting apart these raw low ones. A lot of people hate them. I like them. I used to like them, actually. But I'm going to be tearing these apart using an X-Acto knife. Only an X-Acto I didn't want to go with the traditional way of just removing them completely with acetone. I was going to find myself having a harder time doing that and having a harder time gripping onto that upper in order to peel it off from the sole. You'll see in a second. All right, so back to the tugging and pulling I was talking about. As you can see, the uppers are still attached onto the edges. And to peel this off, all I'm gonna need is a pair of pliers and some acetone.
Moving back on to these original Royal Ones, all I'm going to be needing to do now is using the same products as before. Except this time I'm going to be adding an X-Acto knife just so I can cut out all that extra stitching on here. Because with these, I can literally just take them apart because they're already crumbling. And, and they're, all the glue's weak and there's nothing really holding them together except for the stitching. So I'm back at it again with the special potion that we always use in every single episode. Acetone or nail polish remover, however you want to call it. I'm going to be applying this again using cotter rounds just so I can clean up all of this excess gunk from the, from the uppers, you know, so that I can apply a fresh coat of glue. And if you take a quick peek, you can actually see it. There's some Korean lettering on here. I don't know what it says, but if any of you out there know the language, let me know. We're gonna get back to that X-Acto knife action and begin cutting out all the pieces that we need to replace. Starting off with the swooshes and then the Nike Air Tags. And just a warning, this is gonna be very difficult to watch. For all of you out there who get booty hurt real quick, this is not for you. So yeah, just, just comment and go. So going on to one of the last steps we have to do on this process, and it's also getting pretty dark and late as you can see. I'm gonna whip out that bar super stick cement. I'm gonna apply about five to four coats on each surface, but allow them to dry an hour within each coat. So make sure you do that so you can have a strong bond and ensure that they don't fall apart. She can't keep her hands off me. Now her man salty. If he pull up on me, keep that 40 on me. I ain't playing with you. Talk to you late at night 
Again, we're on the final steps. Right now, I'm just gonna be applying the royal blue paint onto these uppers. I got pretty much a perfect matchup this go around, so I'm pretty happy with this mix. And after applying several coats, I'll also be hitting them up with a finisher. So now I'm going to have to work with stencils, but in order to, the only reason this became possible was because of Sophie Soap. So I want to give her a big shout out for sending me out these stencils and like before and any time in the future, always sends them out with no problem. So I appreciate you for that. Make sure you check her out and check out her new shop. Link will be in the description and on the screen. Let's get in to this video. Why not? 